Hi students, um, coming back with another listening video today. We are going to review a few more very fun tongue twisters that are common in American English. The previous video, listening video number two, also explores a few different tongue twisters. And so I thought that we would make another fun video, fun for listening, difficult for pronunciation, to practice a few more tongue twisters today. Remember that a tongue twister, the word twist means turn, um, flip, change, twist. Tongue twister, my tongue, a piece of language that will twist, will turn your tongue, a tongue twister. Um, I would love to hear some tongue twisters, read some different tongue twisters from your home language. I hope that you enjoy these tongue twisters they're really fun to play around with and just a, another interesting way to practice our English at home. So let's jump into our first one and see what you think. This first tongue twister plays with the word weather because there are two different spellings, but one pronunciation for the word weather. Weather, W-H-E-T-H-E-R, that means if, and weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-R, that means climate temperature. So this first tongue twister plays with the word weather. Let me say it for you slowly, and then we'll go faster and a little bit faster. Whether the weather is warm or whether the weather is cold, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is warm or whether the weather is cold, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is cold, whether the weather is warm, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Blah, 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 blah. And then there's a third definition for weather. Still, W-E-A-T-H-E-R, as a verb, to weather something, which means tolerate. So, in the original form of this tongue twister, instead of saying we have to put up with the weather, it's we have to weather the weather. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to weather the weather, whether we like it or not. Blah, 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 blah. Our second tongue twister today plays with the word which and watch. Which, one pronunciation, one sound, but two different spellings, two different meanings. There is which, W-H-I-C-H, when I'm talking about one of these, which one. And there is which, W-I-T-C-H, which is talking about a supernatural creature, usually a woman, who is cast, making a spell, uh, making a potion, making something happen with magic. So the word witch, but two different spellings. And then our word watch, of course, which means look, watch something. Same spelling, same pronunciation. The word watch, meaning your watch on your hand, the clock on your hand. So this tongue twister is about two witches watching their watch. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? A little bit faster. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? As fast as I can. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Blah, blah, blah. And this last one, this third tongue twister, is one of my favorites. And it's playing off of the word fuzzy. Fuzzy, which means fur, soft. Um, I might describe a cheek. The cheeks of a man who has not shaved might be fuzzy. Um, a good blanket might be fuzzy. A stuffed animal might be fuzzy. Um, this is talking about a creature named Fuzzy Wuzzy. 
So this is the name of the character. And then playing off of the word fuzzy to mean hair, a little bit of hair. So slowly and then faster and then faster. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Blah, blah, blah. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Ah. So again, these are not a serious educational tool, but a way to have fun, play with the language, enjoy the music, the sound of the language, the rhythm, the flow of the language, uh, and just be silly, just have some fun. So go back, listen to them slowly, repeat them slowly, go a little faster, go a little faster, see how fast you can go, enjoy it. It's really a way to have fun and play with the language instead of always being serious all the time. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get notifications when new videos are available. Until next time, students. Bye.